I grabbed my binoculars and I could see the towers from my window. And this is where I, you know, I'm looking. And all of a sudden, down there, I see this van park. And I see three guys on top of the van. And I could see that they were like happy. You know, they, 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 were, they didn't look shocked to me. You know, they didn't look shocked. I thought it was very strange. Amazingly enough, we have found the moving company where the five Israelis worked. Was this building being used as a front for some kind of Israeli intelligence operation that possibly was doing surveillance on the Arab American community? Were there men celebrating or slapping fives or whatever? We had received an all points bulletin and uh, I just happened to see the van and, you know, hollered over to my lieutenant. You know, I think that could be the van. We checked it out and it was. You know, we were all on edge, obviously, so I really wasn't looking to make friends with these people, and neither were the officers that I were with. Once we started talking to them, you know, they were pretty much like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we're not against you, we're with you. And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Our purpose was to document the event. The five Israelis were detained for 10 weeks and finally deported on immigration violations after the FBI cleared them of any involvement in 9-11. The thing that makes Judaism dangerous to everybody, to every race, to every nation, to every idea, is that we smash things that aren't true. We don't believe in the boundaries of nation-state. We don't believe in the ideas of these individual gods that, that, you know, that protect individual groups of people. These are all artificial constructions, and Judaism really teaches us how to see that. In a sense, our detractors have us right, in that we are a corrosive force. We're breaking down the false gods of all nations and all people because they're not real. And that's very upsetting to people. You inspire, see that everybody.